Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing another tutorial on techniques for doing swirls and creating something like this. I will be carrying on from what I've already put down. Um, I'm just going to be using um, a couple of superstar colours. I hope this sort of um, focuses in so you can see what I mean. I will be showing you how to load up a brush as well. I'm going to be using a local now number two seven nine five series for the whole design everything on here is done with the same brush but different paint so i'm just going to show you how i load up my paint it doesn't matter how much water you put on i'm just going to show you by putting like a lot of water on so that's quite a bit of water down on there now it's like a big puddle now just load up as much as you want but always be sure to sort of like twist your brush end so just lay it down on the surface and twist it all away so it's still got a good majority of your paint on there but you've left all the excess water you had on that brush behind now what i usually do i usually start on the um very fine point and swell in so i'll just show you what i mean so i'm just going to start on the very point here and i'm just going to pull out Press down on all my bristles, pull around, keep going and start lifting up as soon as you want to end it and end right on the point. Okay? So I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to start right on the tip, press down, pull around, keep pulling around and start to land on the tip of your brush. With the same brush I'm gonna use I'm gonna use um same colour to do some of those teardrops. I'm just gonna pull the longest one around from there and keep going all the way around. I have done a teardrop tutorial as well, that's why I'm not really covering that now. So do make sure to go ahead and check that one out. I'll just carry on doing this. I'm going to add some teardrops around here too. I'm just going to use like a complementary colour, which is going to be like a dark pink. And I'm just going to outline these very quickly. And I'm just going to start with the teardrops. So focus. I will be getting a new camera as well, so we'll be making more videos. Um, I'm just using my phone at the moment. That was just a very quick outline there. And just to leave it simple, I've just done a very quick outline there. So if I just go around slowly, stay on the very tip of your brush. Keep going around. And when you get to that second one, point it up, flick back down. And just go back over that end one. And then this one here, I'm just going to quickly go around and outline that one too. I'm just going to rinse it out, load up the same way for um, the dots. Okay, same brush. I'm just going to add them into the areas where there are a swell. Just carry it on around and get smaller as you go. On this side as well. And then I'm going to quickly put some over here as well. You can put them wherever you like really. You can even put them on this long edge here. So you can leave it like this. This isn't really like a normal design that you would want to offer. But it is something you can like put around the eye and make it look quite nice and pretty. Because a lot of girls do like swirls and teardrops and stuff like that so 
I think these two colours look really nice and I haven't used any black for outlining or making it look any like um different so I think it looks quite good like this um if you have any more requests for like tutorials do let me know comment below or just leave me a um message on my Facebook and I will get along to doing those videos soon and I should be um making more videos I just took a long break from painting so um I've just come back and I just want to do a few more videos so hopefully I'll be getting a new camera and there's lots of things that I need to get on to videos and um, I want to show you my kit swatches anything um, and if you have any special requests do let me know thank you for watching bye